get to celebrate Rock Your Mox. We get to celebrate our culture, um, where we're from, our indigenous um, tribes. Catherine Yates, um, Chief Leshi School's elementary principal. I am part of the um, California Valley Miwok Band of Indians. And I'm Shannon Begay, the face adult education teacher, and I am of the Napa Nation tribe of Arizona. Hot Sukhail, Jennifer Vasilez Seedstead, Rialip Opschet. My name is Jennifer Vasilez, and I'm a member of the Puyallup tribe. I come from the Squally and Simmons families, and um, I am honored to work at our tribal school, and I'm excited for the opportunity to celebrate Rock Your Mocks with us um, campus-wide. I am Otsui Trujillo, and I am Danette and Opie, and I am the SPED teacher on the elementary side, and wearing moccasins to me is important because it's a connection of myself to the earth and um, recognizing who I am and being grounded and connected with the earth uh, helps me to keep with my traditions and my cultures and the ceremonies that I do. There's different types of moccasins that we have. We have low cuts that could really be used every day and then there's our high tops that the girls wear and those we get when we do our first ceremony as a woman and then there's also the type that are moccasins we use for dancing so I have lots of different types of moccasins the ones that I feel most connecting to who I am are my traditional ones which are the white hard bottom and the red tops and those are from my Dene side and then I also have the moccasins that connect me when I dance in powwows and I have different styles of those ones and just being connected to the earth in that way and staying true to who I am culturally and with my traditions and ceremonies is important to me so that's what wearing my moccasins mean to me. And so we have different styles of moccasins because again, we have um, differences even within native country, um, but we get to celebrate our individuality and um, the return of our culture, our language. Being a Native American teacher, I get to be able to show students that um, they can get a higher education they can get a college and career for themselves that will help them be successful in life and give back to our native culture. As well as um, <clears throat> providing them with traditional ways, teaching them how um, by revitalizing the traditions of how things were done, um, how our ancestors used to do things back in the days, and being able to bring it back to life and teaching it in the classroom. It goes from being able to make regalia to um, beading and making earrings as well as cooking and incorporating all of the things that we used to do, picking berries, um, yeah. using cedar. Traditional foods for sure. Yes. And, um, this week we got to share with our families um, some uh, Native American hamburger stew and um, some hot, tortillas. hot tortillas and um, homemade biscuits but we're also going to be teaching deer dumpling soup so lots of exciting stuff that we get to just have a week to celebrate with our students and show that they're important and our culture is important just as much as our um, basic education. For me my moccasins represent an opportunity to decolonize myself by bringing back traditions and being able to share those traditions with my daughter. So these are the very first moccasins I ever made. They are not pretty, <laughs> they are too big. Um, but I'm proud of them because I know how to make them and I can also pass that down to my daughter. And this is something that my grandmother did. So that is one reason that I think Rock Your Mox is important and why I'm honored to celebrate it here at Chief Flesh. 
and then wearing our moccasin it, it represents who we are and where we come from like my moccasins you know starts with the bottom talking about it coming from the father sky and then the top portion of the moccasin is talk is more for mother earth and then the wrappings are our um, sunbeams and rainbows and that's what makes who we are and makes us become the educators that we are.